Hello, we're going to give you five fast tips for getting started with the Aptivo Project Management version 5. To start, let's talk about the three top features that we've added that are unique to project management. The number one change is the move to a task dependency system, where your project schedules are automatically generated based on the order of tasks and the estimate of how long they'll take to be completed. We've also complemented this with a great interactive Gantt chart that gives you a bird's eye view of the project and allows you to make changes, and we've added several new billing reports to help you track the hours on each project. We've also upgraded projects with all of the common B5 features you've seen in CRM, which includes the capabilities to fully customize all of the fields in the system, and now we can lay out customized views and dashboards that really help you get good visibility into all of your projects as a whole. So let's go ahead and take a look at these new features. We'll start off by showing you the task dependencies. You can see the whole interface has generally been updated. And if we take a look at the milestones, yeah, it's a little bit nicer to kind of browse through and see each of your tasks. But the great part is, for each one of these individual tasks, you'll now see that they have an estimated duration and a dependency. And based off of this, we'll generate the project schedule for you. So you're able to create each task with a dependency, and then it'll form your schedule, which is now visible through our excellent new Gantt chart right here. So this is the visual interactive Gantt chart, which is now available in every project. Just create your first milestone and task and the Gantt chart will appear. And look how easy it is to, let's say, delay a task in the project. If this task is delayed, we just click it, drag it, and your entire project schedule is adjusted accordingly. Very simple. Lastly, let's talk about the reports. Very quickly, if you're using projects before, you will notice that reports have been moved from this left column here where they were previously, and is now available up in the upper right corner. If we click on the reports, you'll see we've added a couple new general reports, but here we have our new billing reports, which would allow us to get a breakdown of all the hours logged against any specific project or by any specific employee. The last part that we want to talk about is these common features that have been added into Aptivo. So one of the things you'll see is when you come in, you get this default home page with the news feed. If you look in your left column, we have lots of links here, but maybe you don't bill for your projects. Maybe you don't use the shared view or the quick links. You're now able to fully customize this layout that you see right here. And even beyond that, for example, when I run a search inside of the app, I can change all of the details that are visible here and create my own dashboard. And it all starts with the field customization. So any project that we click on, we'll get to see our new side panel pops out and we see all of the fields available. The fields will be the same as you saw in projects before, but now we have full control to customize them. Inside of your settings area, you can go to customize app, and now if one of these default fields which you had before, such as priority, if you choose not to use priority in your company, it's very simple. You can actually remove that field, just kind of remove the clutter from your page, and not only that, now I can go ahead and add my own fields. So if I wanted to add my own customized drop-down menu, we have a click and drag interface that allows us to easily add in my drop-down menu. And here you see I can type in some values. Now, what else has happened with these fields is they become available in search and our dashboards. So let me demonstrate that. This means that we can go through, let's take one of these projects and uh, you'll see we click on it. Instantly my drop-down is now available and I could go select, for example, value one. Now let's say you wanted to find a list of every project that has a value of 1 for this drop-down. Our advanced search utility will now include your custom fields, so I can create a filter of everything with a value of 1, and we will see our project come back right here. In addition to this, I could, for example, customize the columns here, so my drop-down value is always available. So you can have all of your different custom fields and details that you need available at a glance, and then we can come in here and use our view column sets feature and this will allow us to customize our layout so up here we see our default fields we are able to use this drop down menu we can go field by field we can remove the ones which we do not want to see visible and then we could choose to add additional fields which we think are more important so you see I've removed a couple I've added my drop down project manager well now when I run that search you'll see my layout has been improved Beyond that, let's say if I wanted to create a customized list of every project with my drop-down right here, and I want to save this away for later because I'm going to commonly review it. Well, it's excellent because you can actually save this as a view for later on. I would have the option to share it with my colleagues. And there's a special section over here in the left called My Views. And you can have all of your predefined views saved away right here 
so you can easily get to each of your dashboards with just a click of a button. The last thing I want to show you is how to customize this area over here a little bit. So if you don't use priority or you don't use billing, we can actually rearrange and delete these links in the left column. So this will be the last thing I show you. We hop into the settings and we'll head on over to the views area. And this is actually also where we can control the home page of the app. So we go to views. You'll see right here, instead of seeing that news feed in the home, I could instead, for example, see all of my high priority projects. And down here, I have the option to customize everything. So I can actually disable that priority view. Oops, it's actually the default, so I can't disable that one. Or you could disable the billing method, the shared views, and that custom section, my views. Well, if that's important to you, you can actually slide it up to the top, and all of your changes are done in real time. Okay, so that's your five fast tips for new project management v5. Hope you enjoyed.